What's up Royals, I'm Kai, hope you're doing well and in this video I'm going to give you an update of my last clutch of the 2020 season so stick around, you're watching Lucas Landon Royals. Hey guys, so for those of you who have been following me on this channel know that I love albino pies but I've had quite a few battles trying to produce albino pies and this one happens to be one of the most successful clutches that I've had. I'm going to clean them up, I'm going to show them to you one by one and then we're going to sex them. I'm trying to get some female albino pies to add to my collection to the breeding project. So I've got my fingers crossed, looking for some female albino pies. Let's take a look. All right, this is the last clutch of the season, and uh, hopefully we get some good sex ratio here. Obviously, we get all pies, and we got three albino pies, which means that we're already uh, beat the odds in regards of getting double visuals. So let's just take a look at the pies first, and you can see there's a little bit of something floating around. That might be uh, a little bit of the yolk or umbilicus that uh, broke off. Um, they were all out of the egg when I put them into this bath. So let's first take a look at these. I'm just going to put these away into the rack one at a time as I go through these. So we have a nice high white pied. And I don't know why, but high white pieds seem to fetch a little bit of a higher value. But I like the low white pieds because I get to see more pattern. But this one is a high white. And you can see very clean, very pretty. Um, you got a little bit of the pattern so you can figure out uh, what it is if it had other genes, but these are all just pieds that are 66% het for albino. And that looks to be a girl, so that's good. So far, so good. I'm going to put this one away. All right, so moving on to this one that seems to be moving around quite a bit. Get the last bit of perlite off. Again, another one, very similar to the last one. It's high white, but not as high as the last one. You got a little bit more pattern. These are very orange, which I like. You can see the orange outline. Some of them even have a black outline around the orange, which is pretty cool. Uh, you get a little bit of that right there. So let's take a look to see if this is a boy or a girl. Looks like another girl. All right, there we go. So what's going to be, I guess the most important for me is whether or not these albino pies are girls. Cause I have four males already and obviously I don't need four males. Um, I'd like to hit some females. So this is another, ooh, this is a cool pattern. Look at that. That's a really cool pattern. So another one that is high white, a little bit more orange than the other two. And it's got a really, really cool saddle here. It's a cool pattern. So let's see if this is a boy or a girl. And wow, so three girls so far, which is great. Okay, and then we have this one. So we're nearing the end with all the pieds that are 66 percent het for albino uh, this one has i would consider this to be 50 50. so you got a lot of pattern up at the top and then you have a lot of white near the bottom and we got some perlite right there so check that out very cool very cool i like this saddle here as well very uniform all right, let's see if this is a boy or a girl. No way. Wow, okay. So that's another girl. I will check all these again. If they're females, I usually pop them again. But if they're males, then I usually uh, just pop them once. So once I see the hemipenes, uh, I don't have to pop them again. So I'm really happy that I'm hitting all these females, but I'm also a little concerned that now those are going to be males. <laughs> so I am trying to get more uh, male double vis sorry, female double visuals because I already have four. 
that are albino pied males. And this is another female. Wow, okay. And this one has more pattern. It's probably the most pattern that we've seen out of all of these. Very pretty, very nice. I like the uniform striping. Nice saddles here and then nice stripe down here. Cool. All right, we got an escape bee over here. Let's check this one. Come on, let's get that perlite off your nose. Okay, so this one has a little bit left to, uh, to heal up. So that's just gonna heal up and that little black circle thing is gonna fall right off. And this is obviously the albino pied. Look how beautiful that is. Just so orange. So crazy, crazy good looking, the albino pies are. And it's a male. Oh my God, See, I knew it. I knew it. All those females up front and then these are gonna be all males. It's gonna be, that's the way it's gonna be for me. That's pretty much the way the whole season is. Like if I wanted a female, it turns out to be a male. If I wanted a male, it turned out to be female. Just opposite of what I want. All right, so this is the second albino pied. That, this spot looks really cool because it's almost completely orange. But the big question is, male or female? And that's a male. <laughs> oh boy. And we last up, last one. Last one, and this one is all curled up. Come on, relax, relax, come on out. Get that perlite washed off. This is the last one, guys. My last hope at making a female albino pie this season. Come on. Come on, let's get that perlite off. This one, ah, there we go, finally relaxed. Nice, nice, very nice. Very pretty, 50% pattern to white. And please, yes, I believe this is the female. Great, we got one female double visual albino pied. So I got two albino pied males, a whole bunch of pied, 66% head for albino females, and just one albino pied female out of this clutch. That just goes to show you, you don't always get what you want. Things don't always go the way you want them to. If they did, I would have probably clutches of albino pieds and I would be able to make them with albino pied to albino pied pairings, probably even with codoms in the mix because I've been trying to make albino pieds for the past four years. And I think out of all of those opportunities, I've only been successful, I would say successful on two of those clutches. So things don't always go your way. Keep that in mind when trying to breed for what you want. Um, sometimes you have to spend more time. Sometimes you gotta spend more money to get what you want. So those are the considerations that you have to make when uh, dealing with your projects and try to push your projects forward. So that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you wanna be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and I'll see you guys next time.